Welcome to Between Plays, the Stock Entertainment Channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Giga Metals. I think it's pretty important that we do take a fast look at this uh, company, and the reason why is because they're on a tear. Um, and why are they on a tear? Because there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. Um, you know how the saying goes, we got to be careful here of uh, buy the hype and uh, sell the news. I don't know if that's going to happen here, but you never know. So... I'm not giving anybody any advice here. I'm just saying that uh, what's been going on. So Giga Metals, uh, well, let's start with Tesla. So Elon Musk did his quarterly report. And within that uh, quarterly report, uh, he stated that uh, he was uh, putting out a challenge to everyone on the, all the companies on the planet that are trying to extract nickel, lithium, anything for EV batteries, that if you can extract it with uh, zero net carbon emissions, um, and you can go get that, uh, whoever can, and, and of course, safety is there too. Um, he said Tesla is going to give him a long-term contract. Well, Giga Metal stepped up. I mean, was this the voice of an angel, uh, for Giga Metals? And let me tell you why, because Giga Metals has less than one year of cash runway. It's not good, man. Ha highly volatile share price over the past three months. I mean, the, the the share, the health of the company is in the red here. I mean, even the Turn Again uh, Mine Project is up like in mountains. It's very hard to get to. Um, I mean, everything was just looking really bad for them. But um, once, you know, uh, they said to um, Mr. Elon Musk, hey, we can do that. This was like sometime in the end of July and August. Well, the share price started going up because... You know, Elon Musk says Tesla will give you a long-term contract to anyone that can do what I'm asking. Well, and if Giga Metal says, well, we'll use BC Hydro and we're going to use this and that. And we have carbon capture and but we need money. Well, I think it was like a billion dollars they needed to get the, the whole thing going. Tesla easily can do that easily can do that. So what ends up happening is that on um, Friday, September 11th, of course, of all days, um, Reuters comes out with an article stating that uh, Elon, Te Elon Musk is in discussions with Giga Metals. So what happens? The stock goes from, I think it was 51 cents up to $1.65 closing. I mean, that's just insane. So let's go and take a look at that. Share price and news. We got here a massive spike. Look at that, a massive spike over here. This is just incredible. <clears throat> These are 2019 through 2018, but if we look over the last past month alone, you're looking at the stock at 32 cents, and then in August, 51 cents. That's what I was saying, right? And then it just goes up, up, up on the hype, slowly down, slowly up, and then on the temp of September, you can see it's uh, pretty low here at 58 cents and then $1.65. Just on the hype. We don't even know if this is true, but I mean, I doubt routers and I doubt the Globe and Mail haven't done any research on this. But I mean, was it, I, I don't, I, I listen, there's a lot of supposition that can happen here. I don't want to get into that. Uh, but is it true? Is it not true? Listen, I, I doubled my investment uh, on the hype as well. Because how do I know? Is it true? If it's true, this is a big thing. This is going to completely save Giga Metals. They're going to turn the company right around. They'll build roads. They'll do anything. Musk is behind it. I mean, building ships to go to Mars. I mean, he has a rocket that lands, <laughs> goes up and lands back down on the same pad. And he does it on water. Insane. We're going to doubt this? That he, you know, about extracting in the ground? Maybe you dig a hole. You know, you know, have a certain technology to get down in the hole and is it that hard? I mean, sure, supposedly it's in the mountains, it's hard to get to and whatever, but I mean, with the technology that exists today, I mean, we've made tunnels for cars through mountains like 50 or 60 years ago. So I think it's very possible. So if he's behind this, it's a big thing. Now, the catch is this. Supposedly on battery day, September 22nd, Tesla, Elon Musk, is going to announce some things. We don't know what it is. No clue. 
But I waited all Friday to see if this was true or not. Nothing came out that it wasn't true. I mean, electric, 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 electric news came out with something that said it was like, you know, along the lines of routers and Global Mail. So did uh, the Technical Times. Technical news, Technical Times, they came out with that as well. But no one to refute, no one to rebuke, nothing on uh, Musk's site, on uh, Elon Musk news. They also put it up there that it was going up. So, uh, that, you know, these, these articles and stuff like that, they put that up on there. So, but there's no, no one refuting this. Giga Metals didn't refute any. They sure they put something online saying that there was no material changes in the company, but this has nothing to do about a material change of two people are in discussion. And until it's announced, there is no material change. So the only thing we have to look out for is if someone, if Musk comes out and says, no, this is not true. Or if Gigamel says, no, this is not true. Or if the Globe and Mail or Routers finds out that this wasn't true, they, they oh my God, listen, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, we because of... So what do we do? I mean, do I, do I double down again on Monday morning? I got no clue. I have no clue. All I can say is that right now, there's going to be a lot of hype about uh, behind this until the 22nd. If no other news comes out, zero until the 22nd, in my opinion, this is just going to keep on going up. This is a bull. For right now, if whoever doesn't know what a bull is, well, that the bull is when the market goes up and the bear is when the market goes down. So we're looking at bull stock. Rocket right now, it's flying. So, anyways, look, I have nothing to say on the financials uh, of uh, Giga Metals because, as you saw, uh, volatility in you know in markets up because of what's going on. I mean, uh, I mean, they're going to be like less than they're, they're going to they don't have enough cash to last them even the year. There's a company below the industry of minus two hundred twenty point one percent. You know, it's you know. What is here? Financial health. We have analyst checks. We have, uh, so oh, at least their debt level is considered satisfactory. Long-term liability. Giga's short-term assets exceed its long-term liabilities. So that's, that's very good news too. Short-term liabilities. Giga's short-term assets exceed its short-term liabilities. So that's good as well. They have more assets in the short-term than liabilities and their long-term assets way exceeds their, their long-term liabilities. So, I mean, they can continuously you know, go and probably find more money and stuff like that, you know, and this is probably, you know, this is, uh, that level is good. So reducing that insufficient data to determine, so you can't say anything there. So look, um, it's not all negative. It's not all negative. I mean, they have assets. So it's not all negative. It's just their, their cash flow runs out in the year. They they'd probably have to get some more refinancing or something like that. But if Tesla's on board, if Tesla's on board, listen, I don't even know what's going to happen to this stock. You know, we got the whole, you know, buy on the hype and sell on the, on the news type stuff. But I mean, it could happen. Might not. Ha listen, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no clue what's going to happen. All we can do is just be attentive we have to watch. We would have to be, every single investor has to keep their eye peeled out on this one. Everyone, so Giga Metals. Everybody research your stuff. This is an entertainment channel. Research your stuff um, and uh, make sure when you invest, it's based on what is going on in your head, uh, your mind and your heart together. Make sure that everything goes in the right direction and make sure you research well. I mean, you are investing your money, so. Um, from uh, Between Plays, uh, talk to you next time.